Hey guys, I was editing this video and I realized there's no intro whatsoever, but I wanted to hop on and say that this video, um, as you will see, is mostly about different sensory bin activities or just like sensory play that you could do with your toddlers from like age two to whatever age. I have a two year old and a four and a half year old, so they loved all of the ones that we did. And I hope your kiddos are interested in some of these as well, if you have not already tried them out. I will warn you, some of them are messy, so if you don't mind mess, then that's great. But I hope you enjoy this video and get some good ideas to do with your kiddos inside or outside, if it is nice enough outside where you live to do them outside. Alright, the boys are up from their nap. And I took a long nap. Yeah, you did. And when they woke up... We talked about what, Hunter? Yeah, so we learned about germs and how we shouldn't share forks or spoons or cups. We learned about how we have to wash our hands with yeah. soap and warm water. I found some socks. And then we talked about how we should sneeze and cough in our elbows <laughs> and use a tissue when we sneeze. <laughs> yeah. So now we're going to do an activity. I pulled out the baby tub and right. filled it with water. And then we're going to put soap in there and make some bubbles. And we pulled out some of the play dishes that they have. Some pots and pans and lids and spoons and stuff. What? So we're going to do some pretend play and wash some dishes, right? Yeah, when he was a baby, he mm -hmm. played in this tub. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. It has this baby. Alright, so let's try to put some soap in there. Do you want to squeeze a little bit in there? Just squeeze a little bit. Alright, that's enough. Now swish your hand in there. Make yeah, some bubbles. I got my little Roll up your sleeves. Alright, look. What's happening? Making bubbles. Yeah, it's making bubbles. We need more soap. Alright, let's squeeze just a little more in there. You guys mix. I'll put the bubbles. Ready? And I'll put the soap. Alright, there we go. Mix, mix. Remember. Good job. Alright, so we're going to wash our dishes in warm water and soap because that's how we kill germs, right? Yeah. Or we get rid of germs. Uh, my hands are wet. Well, that's okay because they're going to be wet the whole time. Ready? Alright, let's wash. I also forgot I pulled out some little... I'm just using little baby cloths, but they're going to use these to wash their dishes. So the boys really like this since the virus is going around. I just wanted to talk to Hunter about um, just being clean and how we don't like germs and we don't like to get sick. So how we just wash our hands, wash our dishes when we're done with them and everything like that and we just stay clean so we don't get sick but they really like this activity they love taking a bath so of course they love soap and bubbles they had play food that I wanted them to play with but I'll explain a little later, but they had 
they just had little holes in them, so I didn't want the water to go inside of those. But I think this activity is great for younger or older toddlers, and they just had a blast with it. I think they played with it for like a little over an hour or so. It was a pretty fun one. So you can use anything like a, I don't know, like a bin or something to fill with water and soap and soap or you like those little play kitchens that like have actual running water which is really cool and I want to get for them someday. Yeah, I don't know, they're just going to do this for a little bit and then after we are going to actually go take a bath ourselves because today is a bath day and yeah, we're going to clean ourselves in the bath with warm water and soap, right? Yep. We were going to wash um, their play food, but they have like little air holes in them and I didn't want those to go in the water because then mold will grow inside of them and I don't want that to happen because those are their play toys. So, I don't know, we're just going to wash these dishes and like I said, take a bath in a little while. Pets are not the same cleaning You just... I might be nice and soapy and putting it in the cap. Okay. What did you learn today? Uh, snow. What about the snow? What did you learn about what kind of animals live where it's cold? Walruses, dolphins, not dolphins, orca whales, orca whales, polar bears. Polar bears. So you got a polar bear here. He blends in because he's white. And you got a walrus and a seal. I might So this particular day, it did snow outside, of course, at the end of March, um, but I decided to make them fake snow, and they had a blast with it. It's a really easy recipe. I'll leave the link down below with the one that I used. But yeah, they had a blast. They loved playing with it. I just threw some cotton balls in there as well to, like, pretend snowballs and whatnot. But... With Hunter, we just talked about um, what kind of animals live in the Arctic. Just a little, I think you would call it like a geography lesson. Um, just preschool style, so. That was fun talking about that, and he learned about a um, few animals that live in the cold weather, and then we played in the spin for, I think the same, a little over an hour, just like the previous one. But it did feel nice and cold, just like snow wood outside. So with this next one here that you see, I have it outside in the sandbox. You can do it inside or outside with sand or moon sand or anything, depending on the weather. It's really up to you and what you're comfortable with. I do have a recipe for moon sand and I'll leave that link down in the description as well. But we just used outside sand in our sandbox for this one. So another little sensory play activity that you could do indoors or outdoors is a dinosaur land set up in the sandbox. I was going to do this one in the tub too, but it's a nice day outside, so I'm bringing the boys out here to play with this. I just set it up for them, and I'm about to go get them, get some coats on and shoes, and come and play in their new little dinosaur land. Mm. 
Hunter wanted me to bring all of our dinosaurs out, but we have way too many to actually fit in the sandbox. So I only brought a few out for them to play with and they have shovels and rakes and brought the little trees out as well. And yeah, they just had fun with it and buried the dinosaurs and buried the rocks. Covering things. Are you gonna hide the dinosaur? Okay. Oh. I found a rock. Oh, you found a rock. Bye bye, dinosaur. One more scoop should be good. Oh, Hunter uncovered it. Oh, where did your dinosaur go? There he is. Good job. Yeah. Hiding. It's hiding? Yeah. Good job. Oh, there is. Hunter also had an idea. He took some beans from our other sensory bin and he plopped them in there and they're just white. And he said they were dinosaur eggs, so he used a little bit of his imagination for that one. With this next one, I set this one up just to show for like babies or younger toddlers. Um, with this specific bin, we learned about gardening and how vegetables and fruits grow. But I just used like an Easter grass type material for the dirt part, and then we just used our play toys for fruits and vegetables and I brought in their rakes and shovels to pretend play but for my boys I just used real dirt I used potting soil that we just had in the house and then I just put their toys in there to play with again as I mentioned earlier these do have holes in them but I just took little pieces of tape and I covered them up as best as I can to prevent the dirt to go inside of them and when I wash them I don't want water to go inside of them either but this was our gardening lesson for this particular day and they had a blast playing in the dirt because as I said earlier my boys love getting dirty so that's what we did and they also put in some of their rocks to bury in there as well. Hunter, what did we learn about fruits and vegetables? So we need a water, we need a person first, then a water, then a then a sun gonna come out, then a wind gonna come out, then more sun, then a pan gonna grow. Yep, and then what do you do when you want to eat the vegetables? Yeah, you have to wash them before you eat them. Right? All right. So we got a little bowl of water over here so they can wash, and a little container to put their clean. Don't put it in your mouth. To put their clean fruits and vegetables in there. So this is just um, potting soil that I used. Um, I just washed my hands. That's okay. We'll wash your hands again. And we just dug out some of their fruits and vegetable toys from their kitchen set. And then threw their rocks in here that we picked. A little while ago in another vlog and we're just having some fun using their outdoor sand toys so yeah I thought this was a fun activity to do since it's like a gloomy rainyish day today outside I decided to just do like a gardening type thing lesson today for something fun and another sensory 
been idea because these two love to get messy and have fun but I also shared as you saw a little bit ago in the video um there was also that like uh like the Easter grass type material that I laid down and stuck all the vegetables and fruits and stuff in you could do that with like a baby that you don't want them touching the dirt and putting it in their mouth and whatnot but still a fun sensory thing for a baby that would be a good idea or like a younger toddler um because he still puts stuff in his mouth but i am supervising them while they do this but yeah this is the final sensory bin of this vi video if you don't mind your kids getting all dirty. So yeah, if you have a preschooler, you could do like a little preschool lesson in the beginning before you do the bin, like I do with Hunter. I don't know, I just think it's fun. But for Paxton, it's just play. Alright guys, that is the end of the video. And of course, I forgot to do an outro as well. <laughs> So, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you're going to try any of these sensory activities with your kiddos or if you have already tried them with your kiddos. Let me know down in the comments or over on my Instagram. I will leave the handle here and it's down in the description box for you. So go follow me on there if you want to see more pictures and stories of the little ones. Go subscribe if you're not already subscribed and hit that bell right next to it so you don't miss any future videos. I like to do mostly day in the life content and like toddler content. So go hit that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.